Good morning everybody, I'm Teacher Victor and I'm recording this from the art room at CIA First for my Grade 3 students so that we can continue with our unit on colour. So, guys if you can remember, we were... I asked you the question, where does colour come from? Now we were able to find out through our explorations that colour can come from things like turmeric, coffee, blackcurrant, and can you remember what this one was? That's right, this was purple dragon fruit. So we can, we can see that colour comes from, or it can come from, fruit and vegetables. Today, I'm going to do an activity with you to show you that colour can also come from the things that we have around our house. Things like tomato ketchup, chilli sauce, oyster sauce, peanut butter, and even things like charcoal. I've got two different types of charcoal here. One is more sharp and jagged, another one is smooth and more rounded. In Khmer, I believe this is called Kajum. Excuse my pronunciation, it may be incorrect. Anyway, let's start. Another thing that you're going to need is you're going to need a spoon, some tissue, and a pencil to make some notes. And not forgetting a nice big piece of paper. So let's start, shall we? So here I've got a little sachet of tomato ketchup. You probably usually get these when you order a takeaway. Um, I've snipped a little bit off the corner and I'm going to squeeze a little bit onto my paper. We can see that it's a nice, a nice deep red at the moment. But let's see what happens when I spread it out using my spoon. Okay, now we get to see a little bit more of the colour. You can see here I've got a little bit of, on the back of my spoon. I'm going to use that just to do a nice even um, amount of ketchup on the paper. So you get to see the colour. So now I've finished with the ketchup, I'm going to put that to the side. I'm going to use my tissue, just clean the back of the spoon. You can hear the bell in the background. Does that remind you guys of school? Missing you guys. Okay, now I'm going to use some chilli sauce. This chilli sauce comes from Lucky Burger. So I'm going to follow the same pattern. I'm going to squeeze a little bit onto my paper. Remember for this experiment, we're not using too much of these sauces. We just really want to see the types of colours that we can create. Wow, look at the difference in the colour between these two. This one is much brighter and much more closer to orange. And this is a little bit more calm, closer to more of a red, a red-brown for example. You can see here, I've still got a little bit of chilli on the back of my spoon. I'm just going to rub that on the back of my paper to see what this colour looks like. Wow, it's really light. Do you know why it's so light, do you think? Well, I'll tell you. One of the reasons is because of this white paper. The white is reflecting through the paint, so it makes it appear much brighter. That's why here, the paint is thicker, so it much looks more closer to orange than this one, which looks, looks more like a very light orange. So now I've finished with the chilli sauce, I'm going to put it to the side and I'm going to just wipe off the back of my spoon. I've got another chilli sauce here. This one is a brand called Cholimex. So I'm going to make sure that it's open. Maybe just squeeze a little bit out because I've got some dry chilli sauce from when I did this experiment yesterday. So again, I'm going to squeeze a little bit out. There it is. Wow, much darker. Much darker chilli sauce than the one from Lucky. So again, use the back of my spoon and just spread this out. Yeah, it is much darker, isn't it, than this chilli sauce. Again, I've got some more on the back. Just rub that down so that we can see the colour. Mmm, definitely much darker. Much more closer to this colour. But out of the three, I would say that this is the darkest. Now there's one thing that I'll tell you, is that as these chilli sauces and as all of these things dry, 
they actually become much darker. And I'll be able to show you that when I show you the work that I did the other day. So right now here, I've got some oyster sauce. Now, you could also use soy sauce. How do we say that in Khmer? Tuxa eel? Yeah, we could use some tuxa eel as well. But when you're using sauces like these, you have to be very slowly because this is more closer to liquid and it comes out very, very fast. So take your time. So while I've got this here, first I'll just do my little round circle. Remember, to draw a circle or to use, do a circle with a spoon, you just move your arm in a circular manner. So with the back of my spoon, I'm gonna spread this out nice and quick. Wow, now we're definitely in the, in the brown zone, aren't we? Okay, so clean the back of my spoon. Let's see what else I've got. Mmm, peanut butter. Let's try and take a little bit of peanut butter. Now peanut butter has a lot of oil. So what you'll notice is that as this peanut butter dries, it will actually leave a little puddle of oil around it. Now maybe you guys don't have peanut butter, but I just wanted to show you. Peanut butter is very thick, and again, I'm only using a very small amount. I'm just gonna spread it out. Wow, this is kind of like cement. Let's just push this down like this. I could even use my finger, put it down, and spread it out. Now again, this is art, and remember, in art, we do get messy, so it's okay. We can always clean our fingers, and it's very important at a time like um, the one we're in now, is to always make sure that we've got very clean hands, okay? So, <clears throat> actually, I've even got this. I just found this on my desk, I realise. We call this Prim Kajal. Again, excuse my pronunciation, it could be wrong. But this is for when you have a bit of a headache or you've hurt yourself. Usually your mother or your grandmother, she'll put this on you, try and make you feel better. Now, I love the smell of this. Mm. And I'm sure the smell of this is going to smell much better than all of these sauces. But let's see what the colour's like. Okay, I'm not going to spread it out, but I'm just going to leave it on here and just to see what happens when it dries. Now at the moment, the paper is wet. Okay, so I can't really see the colour, but I can see a very, very light yellow. But that's enough of that. I'm just going to see what happens. Because I haven't tried this before, so I just want to see what happens when that dries and see if it creates a nice, interesting colour. Now, some of the other things that I've got, I've got charcoal. Two different types of charcoal, to be exact. I've got a brick charcoal, and I've got this really sharp, jagged charcoal. So let's try and see what they're like. You can see already the dust is falling on top of the paper. Right. So let's see what happens when I use this. Wow, interesting. Look at these cool circular lines. Mm. Looks like I'm about to draw a face. Well, I'm not going to. Just drawing two circular lines. Now the thing about this charcoal is that because it's very sharp, it'd be very easy to rip the paper. Even with this, you can use some of the dust that's left over. Wow, that looks interesting. Let's blow some of this away. Don't worry, I'm going to clean the table later after I'm finished. And what about this charcoal? This brick charcoal? Mm, this has been made differently compared to this, where this is just carbonised wood. This is wood that's maybe been crushed down and compressed into this shape. So that means it's going to be much finer Let's have a look. Oh wow. You see that? It's much darker. Sorry about the noise everyone. Wow, look at that. It's definitely much darker, isn't it? That's interesting. Let's see what happens when I rub it down. Again, you get a nice grey, but you can still see the marks of the charcoal on the paper. Very interesting. Blow it away. All right, cool. So there's my experiment. As you can see, my hands are a little bit dirty, but don't worry, I'm gonna go and wash them after. But before I do that, I want to make a quick note 
of all the things that I've got here. So, if we can remember, this one was ketchup. So underneath, I'm going to write ketchup. This one was chili sauce. And because this one was chili sauce as well, I want to write that this one was from Lucky. Chili sauce. And this one, if you can remember, the brand was called Cholly Mex. So let me write that down. Cool. This one, if you can remember, was oyster sauce. And this one was peanut butter. I don't know if you can tell, but you can start to see a little bit of the oil is starting to gather around. So we've got the two charcoals. Remember, we can call this one sharp charcoal because it is very sharp to touch. Charcoal, char, coal. And this one is the compressed charcoal. We can call this smooth. Char, coal. And that's it. I'm finished. There's my experiment. I've got one, two, three, four, five different colours and I've got two greys. Hmm. They are very similar, aren't they? They're more like orange, orange browns, red browns. Hmm. Why would I have colours like this? Well, if you guys can remember, we were looking at cave art. And the kind of colours that we've got here, with all our oyster sauces and chilli sauces are very similar to the type of colours that you can see on this cave art. Now the reason I've asked you to do this experiment is to find out what kind of colours that we can get that are similar to our cave art because I want us to finish our cave wall painting by drawing an animal and then using these materials to colour our work. So let's have a look at one that I did yesterday and as you can see now, the colours are much darker. Wow, look at the oyster sauce. It's got a really deep red, um, brown, sorry. And look, I've got a little ant. Now that's one thing I have to remind you guys. When you do this, and when you leave it to dry, be careful with the ants, okay? It's very important that once you've finished, take a photo with your camera when it's wet, take a photo with your camera when it's dry, and then you've got a record. And then do you know what I recommend you do? Throw this away. Otherwise, the ants are going to attack it. Trust me, it will happen. Okay, so you can see here, on this one, I only did four colours. I've just shown you um, two extra ones. Oh, that reminds me. Do you remember this? I forgot to write the name. Hmm. How do I write this one? Well, in England, we actually call this Tiger Barn. So I'm going to write Tiger Barn. Tiger Barn. That's a difficult word to spell. B L A L N. Tiger Barn. And there we go, I've finished. This is your activity. I want you to look around your house and to see if you can find lots of different materials. And I want you to try and see what colour those materials are by putting it on a piece of paper. Now once you've done that, I'm going to want you to take a photo or share the picture with me in Google Meet and then I can take a screenshot. Alright, don't forget, wash your hands. That's what I'm going to do after I finish this. What I'm going to say to you now is good luck and I'll talk to you guys later. Alright, bye.